Ah, uh, The Clash. A racket that really took the tennis world by storm when it was released in 2019. Uh, I'm holding the 98, but I'll be talking more about the 100 because I feel like that one more encompasses the company's goal behind the racket. The Clash 100 V1 was the first tweener style racket with a thick beam, open pattern, fairly lightweight to dramatically reduce the flex of the frame, which made it very comfortable um, and also gave it an element of a little bit more control than other tweeners out there. It was, a, again, extremely popular racket that outsold all its competitors for around two, three years. Uh, and now we have here the V2. So what's new on the V2? Well, one of the major gripes I had with the original Clash was its somewhat mushy feel. Usually when a racket flexes as much as the Clash does, it needs to have a thin beam uh, to kind of allow it to, to bend a little bit almost. The Clash has a very thick beam, which doesn't allow the flex to feel very traditional. They included technologies like Feel Flex and Stable Smart to kind of make the racket feel a little bit different to anything else we'd had before. It almost felt mushy and like it bottomed out when you were hitting really hard. After my first forehand, which is kind of my go-to stroke to, to determine whether I like a racket or not, I could instantly feel the difference with the new Clash 100. I had it strung up the exact same way as the old Clash, so it was kind of a perfect way of determining which one felt better. Because of its distinct flex features, the Clash will never feel traditional, but I felt significantly more connected to the ball with the V2 than I did the V1. And that feeling of bottoming out wasn't quite as present as on the previous version. Wilson has included a new technology on the Clash line called 45 Braid, and it's a kind of a way of laying up the graphite that's a bit new, attempting to make a racket more stable while keeping the static and swing weight down. I have to say, it worked. The, the Clash 100 is 295 grams and has a very low inertia through the air, aka swing weight. That being said, I didn't feel like this racket got pushed around at all, which was a gripe I had with the old one. It felt solid on contact and stable for such a light racket, which to be honest is quite an amazing feat from the brand. Despite all the feel aspects of the Clash, it's still a 100 square inch 16 by 19 lightweight racket. So it's very spin friendly, it's very inherently powerful, and it's very easy to use. With all that being said, who is the Clash for? Well, the original Clash was labeled as a comfort racket, almost as a sort of medicine for people who had a history of injuries, tennis related injuries in the past. I think this Clash is still very much that comfort oriented frame, but it is also a more stable, a more feel oriented frame than it was in the past. All those players who like the old Clash will certainly like this one and maybe even prefer it. I just think the V2 will now open its doors to a slightly more advanced tennis player. Uh, those who take a bigger cut of the ball and want a more stable, solid feeling racket. This one is certainly more so that than the previous one. My personal thoughts on the Clash 100 V2 is that I, I really do like this racket. I don't see myself switching to a frame like this, it just feels a bit too different to what I'm personally used to. But if you want something comfortable, powerful, that still has that stable, controlled feel, the Clash 100 is the perfect racket for you. And I'm sure it will do just as well as its predecessor. We do have it available for demo, so come in and try it out anytime.